A mysterious mound rarely visited on the extreme western outskirts of Scotland's capital is Edinburgh's Stonehenge, an enigmatic site and standing stones left behind by our prehistoric ancestors, which no doubt was a very important site in ancient times and still is in the present day. In this film we'll find out about the Holly Hill Tumulus, an Iron Age chariot burial, a major ley line which runs through the site and possible simulacra. Let me know in the comments some of your own thoughts on Holly Hill. At the end of the video I'll put links to other standing stone films around Edinburgh. Holly Hill is situated 7 miles from the city centre and directly beneath Edinburgh Airport's main runway. The age of Holly Hill is unknown but it's thought to be Bronze Age. The site was originally called Healy Hill and was scheduled in 1931. The main feature is the 3 metre high grass covered mound which has a diameter of 30 metres. The mound is not central to the surviving standing stones. A modern 0.75 metre high retaining wall encompasses the tumulus. When visiting Holly Hill I noticed a collection of painted stones, lightly deliberately left as an offering to the site. From the top of the mound Arthur's seat is visible, away in the distance to the east towards Edinburgh. The top of the mound also has a slightly hollowed dish shape. Three standing stones made of greenstone survive in a diameter of 100 metres. These remaining stones are not in a circular arrangement. It's quite possible that around 12 standing stones or concentric rings may have existed. A closer look at the surviving stones reveals some interesting features. The largest megalith at Holly Hill seems to have simulacra. There seems to be an eye, a nose and a mouth. In my opinion this is no doubt intentional. Let me know in the comments what you think of this. Human like faces on stones at stone circles is not uncommon. A few other examples are Balburnley Stone Circle in Fife or Avebury in England. One of the other standing stones seems to have a male phallic shape which may indicate Holly Hill being a fertility or a male site, perhaps both. Male phallic shapes appear at stone circles quite regular. A few examples are AK Bray, a recumbent stone circle in Aberdeenshire and at the main Callanish site on the Isle of Lewis. The male phallic shape is interesting as anyone keen on earth energies, dowsing and ley lines will be interested to know. Hully Hill is on the male current of the Bellinus line. The word Hully has lay in its pronunciation. Check out Gary Bulkcliffe and Caroline Hoare's excellent book, The Spine of Albion, which tracks the Bellinus line. There's amazing sites to visit on the line through the whole length of the UK, from southern England to the north of Scotland. An 1830 antiquarian excavation uncovered a dagger or riveted spearhead with bone fragments and animal charcoal. Before the erection of the modern industrial estate, an Iron Age cart burial was excavated. This cart burial from the Iron Age is extremely rare and the first example recorded in Scotland. The closest similarity to this find is in Belgium or northeast France, where complete cart burials are quite common. The only other known area of cart burials in the UK is Yorkshire in North East England. Here nearly all the chariot burials were carts that had been taken apart. In April 2007 a geophysical survey was undertaken which found not much of interest below the surface. A few of the close by street names linked with the chariot burial and the mound are Holly Hill Road and Chariot Drive. Perhaps the modern day Newbridge area 
was seen as important to our prehistoric ancestors from various timelines. On the other side of the very busy roundabout, roughly 320 metres from the tumulus in the industrial estate is a large 2.7 metre high megalith. This may be an outlier to Holly Hill and possibly once part of a larger site. Holly Hill is open 24-7 to the public. It's not signposted nor has an information board. This is a site for the keen megalithomaniac, earth mysteries enthusiast, dowser or historian. You may meet the odd local person walking their dog. Holly Hill is located next to Old Liston Road in Newbridge, which is on the extreme western outskirts of Edinburgh. The relentless traffic of the M9 road passes directly next to the site. If you enjoyed the film, please hit the like button, subscribe and leave a comment. These actions help the channel. Before Caledonia is a Scottish prehistory project which focuses on the Neolithic stone circles, standing stones and rock art. Before Caledonia has a companion Facebook group. If you would like to support the channel and receive exclusive physical and digital content, Before Caledonia is on Patreon. There is also a PayPal donation option. Links can be found in the description box or on the channel homepage. A big thanks to my Patreons and a megalithic thanks to our ancestors for bequeathing these amazing ancient sites which we can still enjoy visiting today.